after two minutes or if you've said something that's not 12 eight and what are you gonna do then bring it on my stage I'm gonna get my stage in oh yeah yeah okay so that's Penny's job so when I come at you like that yeah you bet you better know that you're about to get off stage um other than that good luck open micers uh no seriously everyone that's on the open mic good luck I know you're gonna smash it recently bought a Lambrusco balanced on a lock kids to peas in a cross took a man there Box and maggots, rods, hooks, lily pads, and an old phone book. This member fight bubbling up from the bottom, rusted, rod, lost and forgotten. Frog's hot, bitter hot scotch, nose dive and a belly flop, faded tags and favourite spl- IDFC. <laughs> Beer cans blossom on the branches of the no filled birch, where the nonces lurks, hidden perch. Paper mache porno, 70s butter in the bushes and scuff. You got an orphan as the shopping trolley, mugged of its pound. Warm still water, appy mongrels flapping about, swim or drown. Skim in pennies, skinny dip, it dip, chuck her in. And watch the reeds pacing down the road, got pulled underneath. Fly, buzz, we all buzz, looking fly. Bowl crops, bubblegum gobs, blue age snobs, new age slobs. Snide cats, air mats, air mites, polyphonics, hydroponics. It's all about melted ice poles and baby sham, that summer by the canal. It's like that, eh? Blow reeds, smoke weed. Grass things, scuff knees, the great outdoors, sky the limit, the earth's the floor, making fires, half cut burgers, cobs expired, Visgog on the longboat, royally waving, rats misbehaving, the rubbly road we're paving, odd shoes, old bras, the smell of decay and cart, porcelain doll with her eye poked in, pigs on bark, drying up what you're smoking, the daisy chain, the sound of passing trains, canals pumping life through the thick air, like veins, it's like that, eh? Okay, so my printer uh, unfriended its ink on printer Facebook today. Aww. So I'm um, uh, probably for the first time ever, and the only time ever, going to try and read this off my phone. And those that know me know I'm not the most technologically sound guy. Okay. Boy auditions on X Factor for jokes, only for it to become the most viewed audition of the series. So the plan was to drop a few barely legal bars, pick up the hearts of the girls in year 11 like loose change, impress the cousin draping a Lads for Life banner over the camera as if it was something the nation should be proud of. But what happened was the boy arrived on stage and ignored friend request of whatever. Fist raised like a flag of corn, a shrug when asked for his name. And as the spotlight fell blanket-like around his body, something inside him began to shake. A piano, the world had pushed so deep inside of him he'd forgotten it was still there. And the mic slipped from his hand like the Nike cap from his head, and the lid of the piano opened the way his face would lift from his girlfriend's shoulder after crying. And he tried spitting something about somebody's mum, but piano keys just leaked from his mouth until the stage flooded with tenderness and the judges or his parents or the whole world urged him to keep going until he was more piano than boy, until production signaled for more violin because nobody planned for a boy being unlike a boy without a backing track to prompt him and other boys scrambled through the pool of piano keys like missed conversations about weakness with their mothers, like grief buried in 5 a.m. Facebook messages, like the love they had pushed so deep inside of them they had forgotten it was still there. And the boy's beauty went viral before a parody video could. 
and whole cities of boys looked up from their smartphones and straight into their father's eyes. And when it was over, nobody voted for the boy to make it through. He had already won. There'll be no air, cool air this winter, and no white snow will fall. Now the seasons are one, and we were the cause of it all. Down fell the bombs on the cities, destroying them without a doubt. Now radiation burns the earth under the winter's fallout. Now everyone is gone, from the slaughters on walls and floors. Men, women, and children, all dead from human flaws. War is without mercy, death has no age, no gender, no name. Just as one man was not the cause, we were all to blame. So do be thankful this winter, and be happy for the ice or snow, that this did not happen, as I'm sure you well know. But remember everyone, no matter who you are, that this could still happen due to foolish human war. Stand against conflict, because war has no function. War is pure evil. It only brings destruction. No matter the cause, no matter their threat, find a peaceful solution and prevent, prevent millions of deaths. Think of your friends, think of your home, think of your family. There will be poetry in my place. On evenings where we wrote stories to be told to future friends and every den we built when we were eight and every drink we spilt when we were 18 and all the questionable bottles we looted and all the high fives we so poorly executed. There's as much poetry in our lips as we chug as there is in our fingertips when we hug. It's in my mother's muscles. Out to the naked eye, it's invisible to see what weight she's carried, the friends she's buried, the men she's married. It's in silence as much as sound. It's found in the desperate and passionate as much as the meek and the modest. It's in the sound your feet make when running from something or to someone. <coughs> it's in the silence my friend's pill bottle makes when depression is over and done. It's in every fight lost but every war won. It's in the glee after tragedy. It's in the recovery after injury. And I hope that you see it in me. See it in my eyes at the same moment you leave. See it in our sheets as it gets harder to breathe. But we don't care because there's poetry in there. There's poetry in the time people share. Poetry in the way fingers interlock and voices break soft. Poetry between us. But it isn't always that easy to discuss. Easy to pull from pages into air because there's poetry in that which is unfair. Poetry in the fact that death can bring people together despite the heartbreak. Poetry in the realization that some people will abuse the only partners they have in this world. Poetry in the girls who refuse to eat because society told them that hung hungry is synonymous with weak. Poetry in the boys who trade kindness for cruelty because they were convinced it would give a, their likeness a better quality. There's poetry in there and there's poetry in the warfare. And yeah, you might not see it, but it's in you too. It's in the way that you grew and the memories you've accrued and all the things you wish you could do. And it may sound a bit crude, but it's in the statistical probability that you were the one sperm that actually got through and that this was the one poetry event that you chose to go to. And this is why I seek art in words. Because there's as much poetry around us as there is blood in the world. It's beauty in the overlooked and understanding in the mistook. And if you feel anything, that is poetry. If you love or fear something then ecstasy or anxiety is your poetry even if you feel nothing even if you wish to leave this life there's poetry in your strife i'm no superhuman no prophet no hero just a man with words on his phone but with all this poetry in my head i no longer fear death because if this is where I rest in this deep space. If somewhere across this earth I find myself misplaced, if today is truly the final time you will see my face, there will be poetry in my place. <laughs>